well, well, well. <laughs> it looks like um, we're going to end up having to play this section again <laughs> because of the epic fail in the last episode. But anyway, let's proceed. This time I'm going to uh, let Rebecca run back there just to see if I actually get that cutscene. But uh, anywho, this time I got myself a little bit of a cheat sheet. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, this one here is ter terrible at maths. This one. <laughs> All right, let's proceed. Well, we've read all of that, so might as well skip right through it and get right to it. <laughs> Who will stay behind Billy this time? I'll go over to the back deck and manipulate the control panel for the brake. You stay here and apply the brake when ready. Okay. Rebecca! Huh? Don't screw up, okay? <laughs> I won't. You have little faith. Yet again, I don't have the shotgun, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to mow through those zombies as fast as I can. Run as many, uh, as, well, past as many as I can as well. Like these ones right here. Let's give it a go. Ooh, that actually worked. Brilliant. Oh, that was close. Move. Come on, go down, motherfucker. Okay, here's the cutscene. Your comrade has become a bit of a disgusting zombie. Time to take him out. Just out of respect, let's put him out of his misery. Right then, let's try not to screw up this time. Okay. This is Rebecca. I have engaged the control device for the brake. Over. What number is he gonna Roger. get, I wonder? Put the brake on now. Sixty-seven. Seven 
nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four. Sweet. Whew, so tense. There's no chance anyone can survive this kind of crash. Anything inside that is dead. Logically speaking. That is probably the most epic way to stop a train. Oh shit. Take him out. Alrighty then, so. All our shit should theoretically be down here now. And it is. Excellent. Uh, okay, so we got a shotgun. Alright, let's see who needs what. As far as I remember, Rebecca needed a little bit of health, so let's use that, and mix this with another herb. This is the boring part of uh, <laughs> item management. Alright, so we've got a bit of a fire going on over there. On our way to the uh, underground lab. Right then. Might as well leave the red herb behind. We don't need it. You cannot leave any more shit in this room. Fair enough. <laughs> Let's grab a shotgun for her then. And now we can leave the herb behind. Grab the shotgun shells as well. Let's see what does he need now. Then, so he's got a red. Uh, he's, he's got a spray. He's got some ammunition. And that is that done. Alrighty then. Let's go. This place reminds me of uh, Resident Evil 2 sewers a little bit. And what do we have here? Danger, authorized personnel only. <laughs> Okie dokie. Alright, then let's climb up the ladder. And check out the mansion, which is almost as creepy as the very original one. The Umbrella Research Center? General Manager, Dr. James Marcus. 
Who on earth are those people? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. Hmm, what about the male? I'm unfamiliar with him. Attention, mm -hmm. this is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. <laughs> who are you? It was I who scattered the T-virus in the mansion. Needless to say, I contaminated the train, too. What? Revenge on Umbrella. <laughs> Ten years ago, Dr. Marcus was murdered by Umbrella. You helped them, didn't you? <laughs> uh, now you have a bit of a transvestite hanging around singing opera. Wow. <laughs> Still no one near as bad as that midget from Resident Evil 4. Or the other transsexual from Code Veronica. Or transvestite. I always tend to mix up those words. I do know what they mean. I'm not oblivious. Anyway, let's take a look. So, it's a huge portrait of the first director of the facility, James Marcus. Let's take a good walk around here and see what is up. This game rewards you for exploration. That place is locked, so the Night Sword firmly bars access to the door. Naturally, it's probably an electronic lock. It's been a while since I played this game, so yeah. I'm <laughs> just like I've proven earlier on, I'm not entirely familiar with every single puzzle here, so it's kind of a refresher playthrough for me. So, ceramic port is decorated in an oriental style. But there doesn't seem to be anything special about it, not even inside it. Okay, right then, so got green herbs here, that's good. Let's mix those mix those up. I think what I'll have to do is give Billy the shotgun. Because this thing is just taking up way too much space here. No, not leave. Exchange. <laughs> that's better. Because Rebecca is the one who's skilled at mixing shit. So let's let her do all the nerd stuff while Billy is the muscle. Oh yeah. Alright, let's take a look on the other side. Would you like to take some ammo? Yes, don't mind if I do. Let's mix mix these up and put them on the floor, nice and ready. Because unlike some people, I like to mark where all the shit that I've found is, and I think this is the only way to do it. Let's save the game, because if we die... And I don't want to be crying to Mama about having to replay all this shit all over again. Here's a typewriter. Let's record the data. Loading content. Please don't turn off the PC. And uh, let's save that right here. We don't need these anymore. Okay, let's take a walk. I think one first aid spray will do the trick. I 
Uh, that's a fair point. I have not looked upstairs yet. If there's nothing up there, then the first door we're going to investigate is the one downstairs, the one that we just ran past. So for now, we're just hanging around looking for some shit to steal from this wonderful estate. Gotta admit, though, I, I do love the graphics. It's so gothic. Uh, things like this I miss from the classic Resident Evil titles. Oh, speaking of which, uh, the new Resident Evil 7 teaser has just come out. For those of you who didn't know, well, most of you who are watching this probably already know. But yeah, anyway, uh, what do I think of it? It's actually a step in the right direction. I know that uh, first person view is not everybody's cup of tea. And uh, let's face it, for me, myself, it's also a bit unusual. This is like my favorite type of camera angle. Uh, completely cinematic, totally spooky and everything like that. But uh, back in the day, I always wanted to have a uh, option to turn on first person view so you can actually uh, not only see the cinematic uh, camera angles, but also uh, to see from the character's perspective, so you can actually look at every nook and cranny of this place and just uh, go, wow, this looks amazing. Hey, we never got to in a, every game other than uh, Umbrella Chronicles and Dark Side Chronicles, but uh, that thing was on rails, which is a bit of a shame, uh, because the original plan for that game, I believe, was to uh, make it a uh, total... Uh, Kind of retelling of everything, uh, Resident Evil, but uh, they ended up making it an unreal shooter, which is a bit disappointing, but it does have some missing bits and bobs to the story that uh, were pretty interesting to watch. I'm thinking about getting it on PlayStation now. Right then, let's take these bastards out. Come on, grab the shit. So we got a dead guy over here who somehow lost his hair. Right, the sink's faucet is rusty. Not even a single drop of water comes out. Nothing interesting here other than a smashed glass. Nothing inside here, which is a bit strange. Would have expected something to be in there. Alright then, let's give you this ammo because Rebecca has been nicking all the shit for now. Come on, Billy, don't be a dumbass, grab it. There we go. Okay, so that door is locked. The door is embossed with a fire motive. Okay. What do we have here? Fire is cooking utensils line the back off the counter. This must be the kitchen. Let's keep exploring here. But yeah, I do like the new uh, Resident Evil 7 demo. It's quite interesting. I really want to see where that uh, story goes, considering it's going to be uh, not a spin-off, but rather a main uh, kind of uh, series event. I wonder which characters are going to be in it, if not the ones from the teaser itself. And uh, also would love to 